MCAT 2015 CRAM Physical Foundations Question Flashcard 42 Kinematics How far? Average velocity, time, and displacement. And for everyone who isn't familiar with the term kinematics, it's the branch of mechanics and physics that's concerned basically with motion, the motion of objects, but specifically without references to the forces that cause any such motion, okay? So that's just a little bit of background. All right. A Ferrari Enzo is able to reach a speed of 134 miles per hour or 60 meters per second from zero miles per hour in only 11 seconds. Wow, this is really fast. Assuming constant deceleration, how far would the Enzo travel in this amount of time? Would it be A, 400 meters, B, 660 meters, C, 330 meters, or D, 5.45 kilometers? I'll give you a moment to think and work out an equation for your um, solution, okay? Definitely press pause if you need to. All right, by now, hopefully you've worked out an answer choice that's correct. And if not, that's totally fine. Let's look at the solution. Okay, so to find our displacement with constant acceleration, we can use the kinematics formula. D is equivalent to delta T times V sub A, where D represents displacement. Delta T is the time that elapsed during which that displacement took place, and V sub A is the average velocity during this time, okay? Um, and to calculate V sub A, we can simply use one half V sub F plus V sub I, where VF represents our final velocity, and V sub I is our initial velocity, okay? So we can substitute 60 meters per second because we're told that's the speed it reaches at the length, at the, I said at the length, at the end of the 11 second time frame. And zero meters per second is our V initial, our starting velocity, okay? So when we add the two and multiply them by one half, we get 30 meters per second as our average velocity. So using our initial formula, we went ahead and we just plugged in um, our knowns. So we're still trying to figure out the displacement, but we know that it occurs in 11 seconds, and we just figured out that our average velocity is 30 meters per second. All right? Or D equals 330 meters, because 30 meters per second multiplied by 11 seconds and the second dimensions cancel will give you 330 meters. So the correct answer choice would be C, 330 meters. All right, this problem definitely wasn't that difficult at all. You would just have to know which kinematics formula to choose from your repertoire. And if you don't have a repertoire, I suggest you learn them now. And if you don't feel like learning them, keep on tuning in because I'll show you each one, okay?